Jessica, it was really something to see. Dozens of hands trying to free this 18 year old horse named Cyrus. He got stuck in the mud, so they dug and dug. Eventually, a crane was brought in, lifted this big guy about 50 to 75 feet in the air. He was brought to a nearby field where he was given intravenous fluids, and tonight the hope is that he will be okay. It's good, it's good, it's good. A 1700 pound Clydesdale named Cyrus is hoisted to safety. The delicate rescue by hand and then by this giant crane here took hours. I was actually pretty shocked just because I've never seen anything like this. The 18 year old horse glided gently in the air over to a field with vets waiting. A crowd of a few dozen watched silently. We are prepared for anything. So let's back up a bit. The story began early this morning at Thornberry Farm in Chester County. It was time for breakfast. She feeds the horses in the morning and saw that one of the horses had gone missing. Cyrus is fairly new here. He was auctioned off just eight weeks ago. Workers discovered him in a pond of mud. The theory about how he ended up there. He probably was chased by one of the other big horses and scared and ran into the mud. And so began an arduous task, a painstaking dig to free Cyrus to keep him from sinking further. Oh, and Penny Parker was there with rescuers broadcasting the ordeal live over Facebook. Uh, he's a big, heavy horse. He was in the mud. It cooled down his limbs. It caused some pressure on his body that can cause and be very hard for him to stand up. Cyrus was sedated and kept calm as the many hands helped to free him. The owner of the farm summed it up like sometimes things just happen and horses wander off and become trapped in mud. It was a shock because it's something that hasn't happened before, but anything like a, a child or a kid, horses will get into all kinds of different things. You don't know, always know what's going to happen sometimes. And back live here is some good news. Just got this photo from the barn manager here in Thornbury. Cyrus is up on his feet. He is eating. I am told that he is going to be taken to the veterinarian hospital to be further checked out. But this is some really good news. Just got this within the last minute. And I am also told that eventually Cyrus will be taken to his new owners in Virginia. Live in Thornbury Township, Jill Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. It's